Good morning. This morning we are headed to maybe one of Krakow's most notable sites. This morning we're headed to uh, Auschwitz and Birkenau. We are on a 744 train from Krakow Gloni and we should be getting in around 8.50 or so uh, for our tour at 9.30. I am made to be free. that we just started kind of thinking about uh, was I was looking up you know whether we want to do a tour or kind of a buy yourself ticket all just through the official website uh, we did opt to do a paid tour like but offered by the actual site itself but while we were researching I came across a published article written about um, like profiteering of genocide and it, it brought up something that should be considered maybe when you're thinking about going to this side or the maybe the killing fields in Cambodia, anywhere that a tragedy is happening, you're going to go on a tour. It's become evident that it may be important to look into how you're doing it and who you're doing it through. Because if a tour operator is more concerned um, with selling you tickets and it's talking about all the things it can give you, all oh, this tour comes with a free lunch and all this, and they're making money off of it. They're profiteering off the genocide. I think it's important to think about how you do these things because it's not really ethical or moral, I don't know the right term for it, but to, to have a company that is making money because it happened. Like the focus should be education. Yeah, 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 exactly. And it should almost be, we were talking about it. It should almost be like a not-for-profit. People shouldn't be making money off the back of Hitler's work, you know? Like that's really greasy. So I, w I think that this is probably a really good way to do it. Through the site itself. Through the, to, through the site itself. The money goes to the site to preserve the site, tell the story of the site, and 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 that kind of continue its 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 legacy and sharing sort of the horrors. And there's a million options to see it out there. Take the bus, even like just taking a taxi is I think ethically a little better than paying somebody that's tourist bus. Yeah, called like called like party tours unlimited and then they like sell you Auschwitz tours for a huge markup so the, the owner can buy another boat um, kind of on the backs of tragedy and so that's just it's something to think about I mean nobody wants to be like a, a moral stick in the mud and kind of tell other people how to do things but it's just something to consider right when you're coming to a place where people are making money on tragedy are just it's kind of loud we're just through security right now at the start of the museum uh, we cut the M line to get in and our tour starts in about 10 minutes so
We just finished at the first site. It's been pretty interesting, uh, but it's a lot. The It's pretty impactful, like all the things that they collected from the victims, especially room where there was like the hair from all, uh, for, from a bunch of victims. Uh, but we're just taking a quick break now and then we're heading to Birkenau, which is the second site. back at the train station. Uh, I believe this is our train back here. Um, visit to Auschwitz was very interesting. Um, very overwhelming. I'm very mentally exhausted now. Uh, I definitely definitely don't plan anything else for the day when you visit. Um, I think we're just gonna head back and kind of soak everything in and relax because we leave tomorrow. Yeah, I think even though these are places of like serious evil, it's important to like go, even it though it's is. not pleasant. Yeah. 